What's up guys, Overboard Dad here. Today's video I'm going to be showing you a couple of monarch butterflies that we raise from small eggs all the way up to the full uh, grown monarch. Monarchs need milkweed plants to survive, that's their main source of food and uh, where the females will lay their eggs as you see here on the leaf. Once the egg hatches, it becomes a small larvae, and the larvae uh, will feed on the milkweed leaf as it continues to grow into a uh, caterpillar. And what we did was make a small atrium to protect the caterpillars to increase their survival rate from about 10% up to almost 90% if you're able to take care of them properly. And what we did here was we used a uh, small terrarium with a plastic container filled with water and uh, placed milkweed leaves in the container along with some stems. And as you can see, these caterpillars uh, are very active and continually eat throughout the day. The life cycle of the caterpillar from egg to uh, the stage of chrysalis is about 10 to 12 days. And like I said, they will continue to grow uh, very fast and it's really amazing to watch how fast they do grow. You also need to keep in mind to keep their environment clean from their poop, if you will, uh, because they can get infections. Once they become full-grown caterpillars, They will leave the milkweed plant and find an area where they can secure themselves with their silk and hang in a J-shaped form as you see here. The silk that they spin to hold them uh, during the chrysalis stage is extremely strong. They will stay in this J-shaped form for about a day and a half depending on temperature. Once the chrysalis stage starts, you can see it's a very fast transformation from the caterpillar to the chrysalis stage, which is a very beautiful emerald green color. The chrysalis takes about two to four hours to harden. At this point, we safely removed it from this container that you see and reattached it using dental floss along with some string to give it more room for when it emerges, which is in about 10 to 14 days, again, uh, depending on the temperature. At about the 10 or 12 day mark, you'll start to see that the chrysalis turns to a very dark color, and you'll be able to see the wings of the monarch inside. When you see this phase, the monarch will be emerging most likely within one day. 
once it starts to emerge from the chrysalis, that process takes no more than about seven to ten seconds. As it continues to emerge, you'll notice the monarch's body is very plump. And at this point, it will pump the fluid that's in the body to its wings veins in order to make them bigger. Once this happens, their wings are kind of moist and have to wait about an hour or two before they can fly away. And as you can see in the video, we uh, picked up the, the butterflies when they fell from their chrysalis, but we did not touch their wings as to not damage them. We were able to let them crawl around on our hands and arms for about 30 minutes as their wings dried and they were flapping them to build up strength in them as well. This was one of the more rewarding times raising the butterflies because we were able to actually uh, have them on us and uh, take pictures and just enjoy them before they uh, flew away. Once they started uh, flying a little bit more, we, we took them back out to the milkweed plant and placed them there so that they could eat if they wanted and then also fly away whenever they were ready. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we really enjoyed and loved uh, raising these butterflies and we'll probably continue to do it to give them a better chance at survival. Just remember they are uh, animals and they are very fragile, uh, so try to not you know, handle them with your hands, but like we did, maybe let them just crawl around on you uh, once they emerge. I hope you guys liked it. Please uh, continue to watch. Leave your comments share the video and we'll see you next time.